In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to generate a toolpath for CNC milling a surface using RhinoCam. You can find um, a tutorial for this on my website. This is under the description of the video. You can find a link. This has all the settings that you'll need to complete the tutorial. It also has all the files you'll need. We're going to start in Rhino and we'll be using the Rhino Cam plugin. To begin, you need a surface model. The surface model I'm using was generated using Grasshopper. And you can find the um, you can find a tutorial for this on my website and you can find the file for this on the, on the tutorial website. So our first step will be to make sure our model is at the right scale for um, the physical model we want to build. So I'm going to check the distance. I'll type in the distance command. I'm going to snap from one corner <clears throat> to the other along the x-axis. My model's about 300 by 300 inches right now. I want it to be much smaller than that. I'm going to route a model out of a 6 by 6 by 2 inch block of foam. So to start, I'm going to scale this. I'll type in the scale command. I'll set my base point at the origin, 0, 0, 0. That's this corner of the model. I'm going to do a scale by reference. I'm going to click on the far corner on the x-axis and I'll type in a value of 6. I'll zoom in on, on the model, zoom ex all extents, and this side's a little longer. I'll use the scale 1D command, scale from the origin by reference to this corner, and make this 6. Optionally, you can scale the height as well with Scale 1D if you want. So we have our model ready, and now we're going to open up RhinoCam. I have the RhinoCam plugin installed. I'm going to use the milling module. So RhinoCam, mill. The milling module opens up. I have a machining browser, and potentially your machining objects panel will open up. You can toggle this on and off right here. To start with, we're going to go through the program tab, the program tab right here. We're going to go from top to bottom, left to right. So machine, post, setup, stock, align, and then machining operation. So first of all, our machine is three axis. This is fine. We have a three-axis milling machine. The one I'm using in the tutorial is um, for a scientific three-axis router. Next, we need to set our post processor. So I'll click on the post processor, and I'm using Velocity CNC Mill. You can pick from the list here. And I'm going to make sure the posted extension file is .nc, the numeric control file in G-code. We're done here with machine setup. Next, I'm going to move to stock. Many of these options will work. In this case, we're going to pick box stock. And this is the material we're going to route out of. So I have high density urethane foam. And it's two inches thick. And I've cut <clears throat> on the table saw, I've cut a six by six inch block of it. So I'm gonna set my dimensions here to six inches by six inches and a height of two inches. I'm just gonna set my corner coordinates to zero, zero, zero to begin with. So dimensions six by six by two. And <clears throat> we see the box 
for the stock um, previewed here in, um, in TAN. Next, we're going to align the stock to the model. So align stock, that's in the stock um, <laughs> tab here of the um, programming panel. We're going to do align to the top, and in my case, the southwest corner. So we're aligning the top, the stock to the top of the model in the southwest corner. And you can see that the stock is now aligned to the top of the model. Our, both our model and our stock are above the origin of the scene. So we'll change this next by going to align set world coordinate system. We're going to set this to either the stock or the part box. I'll pick stock box, highest Z phase. And so we're picking highest Z and the zero position is the southwest corner. So <laughs> our zero coordinate will be this top southwest corner. And now our world coordinate system changes to this top corner of the model. And we've prepared our, um, our stock now. We're ready to add um, tools and then a machining operation. You can add the tool as part of the machining operation. We're going to add it beforehand. So make sure you have the tool machining objects panel open here. That's this button right here. So I've already created a library for this. If you want to create a new tool, you can hit um, create new tool right here. <coughs> this dialog will open up and you can set your tool options. So in this case, we're going to do a single parallel finish cut with a quarter inch ball mill. So you would select ball mill right here, then give this a name and fill in these parameters. This will be based on the tool that you have. For this tutorial, you want um, a quarter inch uh, diameter carbide ball mill. In the properties tab, you'll specify the material, so carbide, high speed steel, for example, number of flutes, this is two flute. Then in the feeds and speeds tab, you need to set um, feed and speed settings for the tool and the material and the type of machining operation. In this case, we'll set the spindle speed somewhere between 15,000 and 18,000 RPM. We're going to use for our feed rates, a plunge of 20 inches per minute, approach 180, engage 180, cut 200, retract 180, departure 180. When you're happy with this, you can save the edits to a new tool. Once you've created your tools, you can save them as a library. So save tool library. And in this case, I've saved this as a .csv file. You can download the tool library um, from the website for the, tu the tutorial website right here. If you want to do it that way, you can load the tool library that you've downloaded right here. Just make sure you pick the file type as CSV rather than knowledge base file. And you'll find the CSV file you've downloaded, open that, and you'll have the tools loaded. Now that we have the tools, our next step is to create a machining operation. I'm going to click on machining operations. 
that's our third um, tab in the uh, in the prog program um, tab. We're going to go to three axis advanced under machining operations and pick a parallel finish cut. A dialog will open for the parallel finish cut and we'll set our settings here. Since we only have one model at the origin, we don't need to set a control geometry. We're going to go straight ahead to tools and we've got the quarter inch um, ball mill for high density urethane foam selected. Next, go to feeds and speeds. Check that this matches your tool. If it doesn't, you can hit load from tool right here and the values will update based on the tool you selected in the tool tab. So we've set tool, feeds and speeds. Another important tab here is cut parameters. I'm going to leave the settings here the same, but an important one here is step over control. And for this, we want somewhere um, between say 10 and 25 percent um, of the tool diameter. So this is the step over. I'm going to pick 25 percent of the tool diameter and we can hit generate to compute the tool path. Here we see an outline uh, preview of the tool path and we can simulate this now. Here in the machining browser, we can see the job we've set up. We have the machine, post-processor, the stock, and under setup, we have our machining operations. We just have one right now, a parallel finish cut. If you expand that, you'll see the settings, the tool, the feeds and speeds, the tool path, and the stock. So we can either right-click on this and go simulate, or we can go out of the program tab to the simulate tab and pick simulate right here. I'm going to hit play from the drop down in simulate and we'll see a preview uh, simulation of the uh, machining operation, this parallel finish cut. You can see the tool carving out the landform from my surface. This looks okay and we haven't had any collisions. The surface quality looks reasonable. There's small grooves left by, um, by the tool. And um, we're getting a pretty accurate simulation of what the finished model will look like. When you're done, here in setup, on the operation, parallel finish, right click Go to post and you'll post your G code, your .nc file that you'll take to the router. So I'll save this, for example, as CNC demo, um, CNC surface milling .nc. Take this this is the, um, the G code for your machining operation. You'll take this NC file, save it to um, a USB flash drive, for example, and take it to, um, to the CNC router. The CNC milling operation will look much like the simulation. You'll be removing material and ending up with a model like this. All right, thank you for watching.